hello all welcome to tech capture so we are here with one more generative ai video so we are going to see how we can ground gemini responses in google cloud with a google search so we are going to integrate a google search with gemini to give a more accurate response okay so first i will show you what i am going to implement with my own chatbot so i have created one sample chatbot and i will show you how we can get response from chatbot without grounding what are the difficulties when we are not using the grounding and how we can overcome the chatbot response challenges with some grounding with a google search okay so let me just go to my sample chatbot so this is my sample chatbot here i am using a gemini so it is kind of a generative ai agent so whatever i ask it will just give me answer so i will just ask some question which is based on the latest data okay so let's say i will ask about uh, any recent activities happened in the world i'll just take example the about us election so i'll just ask us election 2024 okay so let's see what is the response so it will take few seconds you can see the 2024 us presidential election has not yet taken place therefore no one has won so it is mentioning that election is not yet taken place it means it is not having the latest information i'll ask one more question so there was one cricket match yesterday okay so i'll ask about that india versus south africa T20 match on 10th November 2024 okay so i am just asking the latest questions so i do not have access to real time information including the live sports scores to find out who won india versus south africa match on november you should check the reputable sports news websites or apps like similar sources so it is mentioning that this gemini model is not having this accurate information because it does not work on the real time data this is a pre trained model on existing data so now i'll just do one thing i'll just ground my model ground my chatbot to get the accurate response okay so i'll just do one magic now okay i'll just pause this video for few seconds i'll make some changes and i'll ask the same questions again okay okay now i have made some changes i did some magic and let's check the same questions again okay i'll ask the same question now so first i'll ask this question i just opened in new tab so we can compare and let's check the response and now you can see based on the provided source donald trump has won 2024 us presidential election so now this time it gave a accurate response with all the details how many what is secured and all these details i'll ask the second questions again which this is the match just happened yesterday but i am just asking this question again and it should respond with accurate result you can see south africa has won the second t20 match against india on november 10th by 3 wickets so it has given accurate result so what changes i have made to get this response okay so that i am going to talk about in this video so i'll show you how we can make these changes how we can make use of grounding with gemini and this is all about the grounding so we are just grounding our responses to get the real time answers or get the answers related to the latest activities latest data okay so first we'll see in a couple of minutes what is a grounding okay so the grounding is concept not only related to the gemini it is the uh, i would say the common concept used in generative ai so i'll just show you first i'll try to explain so you can understand the basics what is a grounding mean okay let's see what is grounding so you can see in generative ai grounding refers to the connecting the outputs of an ai model to real world information concepts facts ensuring that the response are accurate it means just take example of gemini so when we are first questioning our gemini model it is just giving answer based on the data it is trained on okay so it has not having any information about the yesterday's match result or the recent us election because it was not trained on that data okay it is trained on uh, some pre trained data large data set 
maybe a two months back or a year back but what is the grounding so grounding means we will set we will just provide the external data data source to our model output so that it will get that context it will get some information from a real world data and then try to update our answers and then it will give us answers okay so here in google there are two types of grounding method first grounding with google search it means whenever we are asking question to our Gemini model first it will try to answer if it feels okay this is not something I am trained on or I do not have this latest information then it will send that output to the Google search engine and from the Google search engine it will fetch the exact answer and that answer will be displayed to you second grounding with your own data now when it can be used so suppose I need to have a chatbot which can provide answer related to my organization so that information is not available on Google that is something available within my organization and private to my organization in that case I can use a grounding with my own data so now I'll just show you demo I'll go to a vertex AI studio I will show you how we can enable grounding how we can check the grounding responses in vertex AI studio so I'll just open a vertex AI studio and then we'll see there what are the different grounding techniques we have in vertex AI studio and how we can use that grounding technique so I am in my uh, Google Cloud I'll just open a vertex AI studio okay so in vertex AI studio you can just open any of these I'll just open a chart okay and here I'll just try to again ask the same question I'll just go here and I'll ask the same question so and let's see the response so it is saying the US presidential election of 2024 has not yet occurred I am using Gemini 1.5 flash model okay and here you can see the grounding option is here but I am not enabled any of the grounding option okay so what I will do I will just enable this grounding by default this grounding is having Google search as a source and I will just click on customize to see what options we have so here you can see grounding connects model output to verifiable source of information this is useful in situation where accuracy and reliability are important okay so in this case we need answer that can be a specific person's name and here the accuracy is important in this case we can use a google search and again we have second option which is currently in preview so i'm not going to discuss this in this video so I'll specifically discussing on the Google search let me show you this as well so here also we have to provide a set of document that we have to add in the data store and that data store path we have to give here so I already created one video on a vertex AI agent builder so if you go through that video you will understand the concept of vertex AI search and the similar concept is used here okay so for now we are going with a Google search I'll just save it and now I will just ask the same question again so it will not only respond you with the correct answer it will also give you the sources from where it got its response so you can verify that source of information okay now you can see based on the provided source Donald Trump won 2024 US presidential election and it has given the grounding source you can see this website you can see this website and you can see the result here okay so it just access the information to answer your question on internet and from the internet it got the answer and it just displayed that answer to you so you it can help you with the all grounding sources so this is how this uh, google search grounding will work okay now let's say i have to implement now this is for the simulation you can just use it as a sandbox to test your responses in vertex AI studio but what if i have to make one application using this api using this client libraries of vertex AI studio so we can do that so here you can see the we have option of get code okay so first i'll just disable it okay and i'll just click on uh, get code I'll just copy this code so you have to just copy this code as it is first these dependencies we have to install I already installed this dependency and gcloud authentications are enabled in my system so I will not use this command so I'll directly copy this part okay and this is this is without grounding okay please not take note of this this is without grounding so I'm getting the code without grounding I just copied 
and I'll show you in Python how we can implement that. I'll just create a new file. I'll just give the name without grounding dot py. Okay. I'll just stop my running applications here first and now I'll run this Python code okay so it will give me the static response because my I would say the prompts are hard coded here okay so you can make it to use the input from the users I will show you that as well so now you can see the response because this is used without grounding okay now I have made some code changes in my code and I will use it with grounding so what are the different in code here so you can see I'll just open new tab so it will be clear to you so it will just add a few parameters if you have to use the grounding so now I'll just enable the grounding and I'll just click on the get code and you can see this is additional import here grounding okay so if you see this is not here second thing the tools here the tools it is using the Google search engine retrieval tool this block of code is not here you can see it is not here and again it is importing it is using these tools in this model as a parameters so all these code changes are there if you have to implement the grounding using a Python okay so you can get the code for Node.js you can get it for Java so I'm using the same code now I just made some code changes so that I can just chat with this model on my terminal so I'll just execute ground in doc py now so now it will ask input from me instead of just hard coded prompt let me check this grounding dot py okay here also I just commented okay I'll just remove this commented part because now I am using the grounding will just save here also it will say I asking the question who won the t20 match and answer is I do not have access to the live update now I enable the grounding and I will execute the same code again now after enabling grounding it will give me answer which is accurate result Now let's see South Africa won the second T20 match on 10 dependent by 3 wickets it gave me the correct answer but now this is the code I am using as it is okay but I have to create an interactive chat application so I have to create a session and I should take input from the user and then based on that input I should get answer so again I have created one more chat.py uh, let me check if grounding is enabled yes grounding is enabled here so I will just execute okay now it is asking me I am ready to assist type exit to end the conversation I will just chat on my terminal now it is just like a chatbot but I am doing it on terminal without any UI so what Gemini is saying the word hello is a common English blah 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 all these things it is saying now I will just ask it's one US election 2024 So it will say Donald Trump. I'll ask. T20 match between India and South Africa on 10th November. Okay, something I missed. let me start I think I wrongly press something
okay now it gave the response Africa won the match so now it is like acting as the chatbot hello tell me about Maharashtra so it is just showing Maharashtra is a state of Western all these things so it is just working as a chatbot but now I don't want to use it on terminal I, I want this chatbot to be available to my users on particular uh, web app so I just created simple Python flask application okay it is just a single pager application I have index.html and then I have app.py and let me run my app.py so don't worry I will give you the code for this all these files I will share with you and this will be my chatbot which I showed at the beginning okay so let's go back again and open localhost so this is our chatbot and now it is having grounding enable so that's what we wanted to discuss in this video so hope you understood now what is grounding how we can apply grounding on the Gemini responses on how we can create a interactive application or interactive chatbot from that code so that's it for this video just try it out in your environment if you stuck somewhere just let me know in comment section and I'll try to help you out so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again in one more amazing video.